So, Craig, this is your third Sundance now. Yeah, that's right. How, you know, how do you think the fact that you've got a legacy with the festival, how do you think that impacted the, the fact that, I mean, the film got, your film got picked up, like, before it even started? That was really lucky. It's impacted the festival that I'm having in a great way in the sense that, like, there's a lot of anxiety, you know, when you bring a movie here and you don't, you know, like, you hope that, that it'll find both an audience with the audience and an audience with the distributors and, and not having that pressure is like really great. It's making it a totally different experience for me. You had 2007, you had 2012, right. you know, I think that, you know, you attracted some really big name actors here. I mean, you know, we have Chris right. and we have... And Trutel and uh, Margot Robbie. Yeah. You know, and, and you know, this is a story that, that might not necessarily fall into the mainstream, but it has some great mainstream actors and it has a big reach. Do you right. think your, your, your past here at Sundance got you to get, help get the talent you got and then to get the, uh, to get the, the purchase you got? Well, I think absolutely, like, <clears throat> You know, all three of them saw the other films and were excited. You know, it's fun to make a movie with just four people, but it's also in some ways that's not necessarily like something that studios are running around trying to make all the time. You know, like it is still in a sense of a more artistic or more art house kind of universe, but it also like helps the movie kind of be able to be made.